Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how we can improve our productivity in typing the text by not typing it through keyboard but by speaking it. Speaking or voice typing is always will be faster than the effort that we need to put on typing through keyboard. So let me quickly show you how you can enable voice typing in Microsoft Windows 11. We will also see how we can optimize our whole experience of typing in Microsoft Windows 11. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing what we need to do is we need to properly set up our mic. In order to access which mic is working, let me quickly click here on the sound button and then click on this sound setting. This will take us to this page where we can choose which mic we want to use to speak. So here you can see I am currently using two mic. The first one is Blue Yeti professional mic and the second one is the inbuilt mic of my headphones. So here you need to choose wisely that which mic you want to use. I guess here yeah, we already have chosen the correct mic so I do not need to make any further changes. Now let me close this and now let's again click on menu button and then settings. So here I'm gonna type voice typing and now we need to click here. Unlike in previous version of Windows 10 we used to enable voice typing by a toggle switch but in Windows 11 we do not need to. It is enabled by default. We just require to open any app wherever we want to use this voice functionality. For example, let me open Notepad because Notepad is the most simplest app. Now let me quickly show you how you can utilize voice typing. For that, you require to press Windows button and H and there we go. Here we can see the voice typing pop-up menu appears and we already have started typing on Microsoft Notepad. Full stop. So in this way guys we can utilize Microsoft voice typing inbuilt function to type paragraphs, sentences, words inside any application. Full stop. Now let me quickly show you some of cool customization that this Microsoft voice typing come up with. So let me quickly close this first. Now let's go again to menu and then in settings. This time I would like to go to personalization and there we go. Here we need to click here on text input. And there we have it. Here we can see different different style of voice typing theme. Um, let me go with this one. This one looks cool. Now let me close it. And this time again, let me press again Windows and Edge. And this time you can see the looks of this pop-up menu of voice typing got changed. And it meets the way I want it to look like full stop so in this way guys you can also customize this voice typing launcher or this pop-up menu based on your preference now let me quickly show you further more settings for that here you require to click on the setting button and there we go here we can see few settings for example uh, voice typing launcher so by enabling this, what will happen as per this tool itself is it will let you quickly access the voice typing when we are in a text box. Now the second option is automatic punctuation, which I would say is like gimmicky because sometimes it works perfectly, other time it does not. But let's enable it. Now let me quickly show you with one example. For that, let me go back and let me activate it by pressing Windows and H. This is a test of Microsoft voice typing. Also, I would like to see how good the punctuation 
function worked next line so here we can see how capable the auto punctuation tool is well i also would like to leave it to you to decide whether you want to enable it or not also please let me know in comment down below that you liked this auto punctuation feature or not next line so in this way guys we can enable microsoft voice typing function inside microsoft windows 11 and this function is or can be utilized in any application inside microsoft windows 11 So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content. And I will catch you soon in my next video. Till then you take care and bye bye.